It's the Agribusiness Report. I'm Tony St. James, and we're joined today by Janet Atkinson. Janet is with Missouri Farm Bureau, but uh, has been, let's see, heard on the airwaves, seen on the airwaves. Wow, you, you've pretty much done, done a little of all of this. Uh, tell us about your pathway into broadcasting. So I graduated with a degree in agriculture communications and wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with that. That was after a failure in, ag uh, or in the chemistry, of course, organic chemistry that uh, kind of changed the direction <laughs> that I was initially going when I went to college. Um, but communications worked real well just because, you know, you like to talk, so you might as well get paid for it, right? So I uh, ended up working for the Arkansas Radio Network as a farm broadcaster down there. Also had the chance to work for the Brownfield Network, which is back in my home state of Missouri. And I was there for a few years. I thought I was going to go back and get my master's, but decided to go ahead and keep behind the microphone. Went to Kansas for a year and then back to Missouri. And I worked for KMZ Radio up in Carrollton, Missouri for about six, seven years. And that's up there in the Missouri River Bottoms area. So, you know, one of the things while I did move around a little bit during my broadcast career, I picked up a little bit of information, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of background at each of those stops along the way. By all means, am I not an expert at any of the things, but, you know, it kind of helps me understand whenever farmers are talking about some of the struggles that they have in their respective areas or with their respective commodities. Um, so I was at KMZU for six or seven years and I had the chance to then go to work for RFD TV and I was with them for about 10 years and worked in DC for a couple of years at that time, most recently on the anchor desk there in Nashville. And then I had the chance to come back to Missouri most recently and become the public affairs director for Missouri, Missouri Farm Bureau. And so it's been a nice change, but it's definitely a big change of pace. So I still have so much to learn and so many things to figure out, but it's been a fun challenge. So some may wonder what happens in, uh, in a comms department, if you will, at a Farm Bureau state level, what's happening? You know, one of the things that I appreciate most that happens in the, the Public Affairs part, Department every week is that we get outreach from media most often. So whether it's, um, hey, I understand there's a drought going on. Can you connect me with a farmer who's dealing with drought? Or, hey, there's legislation that's up for debate. How is this going to impact Missouri agriculture? What do they want to see happen here? You know, from those different perspectives. So when they reach out, we try and get them connected with a farmer who's got, you know, skin in the game, so to speak, and uh, make those connections and help try and educate the public or educate the media whenever it comes around to that situation. So for those county level farm bureaus uh, that have events going on or, or, you know, somebody who wants to get Farm Bureau involved, what's some advice you'd give to them? You know, if you're a county farm bureau and you're trying to get uh, some eyes on your local event, one of the biggest things I always recommend is keep pictures, keep video, keep details from year to year because those pictures and those videos are what's going to help draw attention to your event 12 months from now when you have it again. If you just put an ad in the paper that says, hey, come join us for such and such, I mean, it's black and white print everything else in the newspaper happens to look the same That's a lot of times. So not to dog on newspapers by any stretch of the means, but you know, give yourself a little bit of uh, uh, essence, a little bit of color to go along with whatever the event is. Uh, whether it's pictures or video, you can put it out there. And then also follow up because as you know, and as I know, uh, media outlets, just like everybody else, their budgets are pretty tight sometimes. And so their ability to sometimes get out to cover your specific event, while they may want to be there, they they may not have the budget to make that happen. And so if you have the chance to provide some audio, some pictures, some video before, during, and after, and then the willingness to talk about it, you might get a little bit of a um, before uh, recognition and also following recognition. So. so you've been on both sides of, of the mic, if you will, at this point, or both sides of the camera. Uh, going back now to uh, when you were working on the actual media side of things, whenever you heard something coming from Farm Bureau, how did that resonate within uh, actually telling the story? Does that, did it provide some weight behind it, having oh. that Farm Bureau name? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, Farm Bureau is, so, well, 
well recognized across the country, around the world even, you know, without a doubt. Um, and so they definitely carry weight behind the ideas that they want to talk about, the ideas they want to put forward, uh, the issues that they take, you know, concern in. Uh, they definitely carry a lot of weight as far as from the media perspective goes. And they've also always been lovely to work with, too, you know, as far as coming from the media side and having the chance to reach out to Farm Bureau and say, hey, I don't think I understand what this is in the Farm Bill. Can you explain it to me? And I've had a number of times where folks will, you know, kind of walk you through some of those details that you may not quite understand yet. Not even for a report or not for a story, just for my own personal understanding so hopefully I can cover the story better. Janet, it's so good to see you and uh, congratulations on the new gig. We wish you the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Janet Atkinson is with the Missouri Farm Bureau and she joins us from Salt Lake City on the Agribusiness Report.